Hello students, today we are going to discuss the screening of antipsychotic drugs using Cook's pole climbing apparatus. Now this apparatus is also used for the screening of sedative hypnotic drugs and anxiolytic agents. So the description of how on the description of this instrument is already posted in the one video, the link is provided here. Let's see how the screening is carried out using the pole climbing apparatus. So first thing, what is the psychosis? The psychosis refers to a collection of symptoms that affect the mind. So it is a collection of symptoms which directly affect on the mind and there is a loss of contact with the reality. So during such episodes of psychosis, a person's thoughts and perceptions are disturbed. So person cannot concentrate, the thoughts are not on the proper directions and they get disturbed and they may have difficulty recognizing. So recognizing in difficulty will absurd and what is real and what is not, one cannot be differentiated. So antipsychotics are the drugs, they are also called as the neuroleptics and they prevent such types of symptoms from the person. Then these are some drugs which are used as antipsychotic first generation and the second generation drugs which are available in the markets. Now this screening method is useful when you have a new potential compound which have reported or which has to be predicted as a antipsychotic, anxiolytic or sedative hypnotics, you can go with this type of the test. So it is a preclinical screening test as it is shown. It is a pole climbing apparatus and the detailed description of this apparatus is given in this uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, one video, separate video is uh, uh, uploaded on this uh, pole, Cook's pole climbing apparatus. The link is provided here. So in short, as you, uh, as you observed, it is a chamber, square chamber and it containing the metal grid from which the electric current has to be provided. There is a bulb light source and the buzzer and there is one pole on which the animal get climbed and that's why it is called as the pole climbing apparatus. So the buzzer and the bulb, they are used as an inducer for this uh, conditional uh, responses. So how this uh, instrument work, let's uh, see. So here you can observe that uh, the same thing is there. How to go with the experiment? You can take the mice uh, of uh, make a two group. One is the control and one is the uh, antipsychotic treated uh, group. So initially you have to train the animal. So for that training purpose, you have to keep the animal here and then you have to use the buzzer or the bulb for the induction of the uh, responses and then you give the current. So as the current is given, the animal will try to move here and from here it will climb the pole. So this, uh, by this way, the animal recognizes that these are the shock and these are the buzzer and it is called as a conditioned response and by this way you can train the animal so all animals they will train and they will recognize that yes this is the buzzer and this is the current and to uh, make this they will climb over the climb, uh, pole and this is what the responses you can observe whether the animal shows response or not suppose you have the control animal not treated by any type of the drug if you give the buzzer and you can put the current, the animal will move on the climb. So it is called as a conditioned response. So we have developed the condition in the animal so that the animal get climb over the pole. Now, you can give the test drug that is antipsychotic drug to the animal and after some time, you can again repeat the experiment. In this case, what happened? If your drug having the activity that is antipsychotic activity, then if you give the buzzer and you can apply the current, the animal will not move towards the pole.
pole it is called as the condition avoidance response means whatever condition we have provided initially that condition is avoided by the animal and that response is because of the antipsychotic drug so repeat the experiment with different doses and different drugs then you make a observation table suppose you have the control if you give the buzzer and current the animal shows the response if antipsychotic drug is there for buzzer there is no response but current it is a response because it is stimuli of a pain that's why the animal recognize this pain and it will move forward but it will not climb to the uh, pole in sedative hypnotics there is a no response of buzzer as well as no response of the current so by this way the experiment is performed so thank you